Okay, so we are in Kerala, North Carolina, and we do this trip every year with Chris's family. Um, the fourth, oh my gosh, did you see that <laughs> land on my face? <laughs> <laughs> um, every 4th of July week we come here. Um, this year, I'm excited though because it's just the Schweitzers. Normally we have another family with us and they're great, but um, this time it's just going to be us, so super stoked. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I brought some workout stuff. So I brought 30 pound dumbbells, 20 pound dumbbells, 12 pound dumbbells, an ab mat, um, some resistance bands, a 35 pound kettlebell, and my jump rope. So I'm pretty much just going to do whatever I can do with that stuff and uh, probably do some running and that. <laughs> if you fly, it's flying in your ear too. <laughs> Show them what you got. What's up guys? So Christine and I are officially back from the beach. Uh, we had a fantastic eight days off from um, very minimal training, just hanging out, all that good stuff. So right now is Sunday and we are starting Christina's new programming. She's also starting to count her macros. I'm gonna have her run through some of that stuff with you later on in this video. But first, we're gonna jump in and check her out. First. We're gonna go hang on the shed with her and watch her work out. Getting stronger every day. Keep on pushing through the pain. Keep on grinding till we take. And no mercy in this night. There's nowhere left to run away. No, there's no. Yeah. 
Hey guys, we are back from the beach and um, I am doing a new approach as far as my training goes. So I was doing just strictly bodybuilding. Um, now I'm gonna be getting back to CrossFit, some more meta metabolic conditioning, Olympic lifting, which I'm super excited about. Um, there was recently, like a couple weeks ago, I went to go do some cleans at the gym and I just realized that nothing was as smooth as it used to be and my dumbbell snatches aren't great anymore and that kind of bummed me out because those are some things that I really enjoy doing. So getting back to that, I'm probably gonna do like one or two days of bodybuilding here and there during the week, but I'm gonna be doing five to six days of um, properly warming up, doing strength movements, one big compound one and then a couple accessory strength movements and then a wad or a workout of the day and then I'm gonna finish with proper stretching. So super excited about that. Today is my first day. I maxed my squat clean and my back squat which was pathetic compared to back when I was squatting a lot but that's okay. We'll get back to it. And then I did Helen and I hate Helen. Um, and then I'm gonna go inside stretch and cook and we'll go over some food stuff in there. <laughs> so I am prepping what will be my food for today and tomorrow and then the protein which is chicken will go into the next few days but I'm making some chicken breast that I marinated with um, this like 30 minute marinade that I found at Lidl and then I'm making some broccoli we get the frozen kind and microwave it for five or six minutes or whatever. And then I'm also making some mac and cheese to be my carb because I love mac and cheese. And we had it in there and it just sounds good. So I'm gonna be eating that today and tomorrow. And then my breakfast is just gonna be the same. Chris and I have been eating a lot of egg whites with hot dogs in it, so that'll be part of it. And then my carb with breakfast will be an English muffin. My macros are 182 grams of carbs, 50 grams of fat, and 125 grams of protein. Um, so how I calculate my macros is I use my fitness pal. They have this huge, huge, huge plethora dictionary of foods with the nutrition facts um, that correlate with them. The biggest trick that I do with my macros is I don't really add any like fatty products to my diet <clears throat> because 50 grams of fat really isn't that much when you think about it um, but there are like small traces of fat and I use real butter on my English muffin so that's some fat and then like some chocolate chips that I use have fat in it so I don't really add any fatty foods into my diet like avocado or peanut butter or anything because it comes along with other fat I mean other food but the carbs, I usually make my more snacky foods or foods that I'm really wanting at that time because my meals, I can have protein and vegetable and be fine. Like I don't need carbs or anything like that. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm dealing with for the next, I don't know how long until I feel like I need to make adjustments or I feel like I need a day where I just kind of eat whatever I want. We'll see. All right, so that concludes this video. Um, if you guys liked it, let us know down below in the comment section. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and then if you have any questions regarding macros, how, how to get started, how I got started, how I got my numbers, also let us know. You can hit me or Chris up on Instagram and we'll catch you on the next one.